Hey guys, this is GKCS. Uh, today we'll be talking on Java 8 features and how they can help us uh, in competitive programming. So, the first thing I'd like to discuss is if I give you a task of summing all the integers in an array, how do you feel? Most of us would feel quite confident uh, being given this task. Uh, many of us would also feel quite bored because you know it's it's not very challenging to uh, take all the integers in an array and then sum them up. But uh, what I want to focus on here is uh, that there is always a scope of mistake whenever you're writing a, a piece of code with some conditional logic or um, you know any, any, any piece of code uh, always has that scope of going wrong so usually what you want to do is uh, take that responsibility away from yourself because uh, summing the integers of an array is not something which is uh, very exciting and something that we love to do it's just something mundane and uh, if you if you see you know uh, something like this happening it's not something that excites competitive programmers Unfortunately, uh, summing the integers of an array, or you know, finding the average, which will, which is this, uh, is is not a very rare task. And uh, when you're writing such pieces of code, uh, you have to check at least a little that uh, it's working properly. So, if you have a look at finding the average of an array. Uh, this piece of code will not work because a dot length is going to uh, do an integer division and uh, potentially this code could be wrong and uh, so what we'll have to do is either typecast the numerator or the denominator by double uh, what i want to focus on here is how do we use java 8 features to take this responsibility away and uh, so if we convert this code to Java 8 code, we first use an utility class of arrays to convert this array to a stream. And then we just uh, sum to find the summation of all integers in that array. That's it. We can call this sum. We can remove this code and that's it. If you want the average, uh, no need to check for integer division or anything like that. All we need to do is uh, average. And because Java 8 has this uh, feature of optional, uh, we have to specify what happens in case the list is empty. And uh, as you can see, you know, we can get rid of this code. And just simply print the average. Let's actually get rid of the variable. And uh, so finding the average of a uh, array is as simple as using four words of code. Also, this is guaranteed to work because um, the developers of Java have tested this thoroughly. I'm sure I haven't actually tested this much. So uh, you can see that working on this stream is very easy. If you uh, have a really big array, then uh, and and you know you, you want to uh, utilize all four processors available to you. Uh, all you need to do is that's it. Add another word parallel. So you initialize the integer array to a stream. You convert that into a parallel stream. So now uh, all four processors will be uh, finding out the average and then collectively giving you an answer. And apart from all this also we have uh, things like finding the min of an array or the max of an array. Uh, this is far more simple according to me than you know, uh, having a number like int max and uh, let's let's go for min initially 
and then what are we supposed to set the initial value of min as is it minus one are we guaranteed that all the integers are positive if not we have to set it to something like integer min value uh, what if the you know max range of integers uh, the, or minimum range of integers is less than integer min value in that case we we'll have to put this as a long uh, set this to maybe long min value you can see that the scope for a headache is is quite high when you're uh, doing even simple mutian operations like this and uh, so typically what you want is uh, all the library functions to take care <coughs> sorry take care of these uh, um, these mutian tasks uh, and so I, I would suggest that you go through the Java 8 library a little bit, especially dot parallel and how this performs in different scenarios. Uh, it's not guaranteed to speed up your program. In fact, if A is quite small, the size of A is quite small, uh, this could actually slow down your program. So I would suggest you actually try out some of these uh, functions and uh, see for yourself whether the a boost you get by you know parallelizing or or converting to a stream is more than uh, the the you know time investment that you're given for writing uh, this pretty long piece of code so that's it a short lecture on java 8 features uh, next we'll be talking on the last lecture multi threading in java so uh, Thank you and I'll be seeing you in the next lecture.